gonna do something that is super fun and super easy to throw together before you have company come in. Because most of the stuff, keep in your fridge because it lasts so long and then you can just throw it out on a board. That way, depending on the number of people you have coming to your house, you can throw together something that's suitable for that number. It's important to choose a hard cheese, a soft cheese, and a stinky cheese. So gather the cheeses that you like and then all sorts of different kinds of crackers. Don't just choose a water cracker or Ritz. Like literally go and choose some really fun things. Choose some tall things so you can add height. And then some fruit. Grab grapes, there's black grapes, there's red grapes. Do a variety of colors if you can. And then meat, okay? If you're going to do a true charcuterie board, grab really fun Italian meats and don't roll them up. I'm not saying that you can't roll them up, but I just think it looks a little cooler that they look kind of messy. And so you kind of shake them out and just drop them. I have some meats back here. Shake out, drop. Go to a fun store that has different olives. Often they'll even have an olive bar. Some will be stuffed with feta, some will be stuffed with goat, some will have a garlic clove in them. But get some olives and then get some nuts. Um, and literally feel little ramekins, little bowls. Take for instance, often I'll even use these bowls. They're just kind of fun. And they're different sizes. You want different sizes. Then you want different honeys and jams. I use a fig preserve, which is really good on goat cheese. You can use a goat cheese log and drizzle fig jam all over that. You can also use a honeycomb. Let me show you how this is done. Here is a real honeycomb. I mean, it's super cool because you're gonna put the honey on some cheeses, but it's really fun to have an actual honeycomb to do that with. And then go outside. If you have an herb garden or if you just have some flowers outside, I went and grabbed some different herbs. I grabbed catmint, which has a little bit of purple. I grabbed some yarrow. Um, I grabbed thyme and sage. And I grabbed mint. And it just gives everything a little extra color. The final thing I will tell you when you do a board, don't make it symmetrical. Make it look messy and full. You want it to look like there's gonna be food left over when people leave. You don't want it to be your crackers are lined up, your meats lined up, your cheeses. You want it to look like you're sitting down to have a feast. And if you live on the mainline area outside of Philadelphia and you don't have the time to do this, or you frankly just don't even like it, um, my friend Christine at the Cornerstone does an incredible job of cheese boards. If you still have questions on what you might like as opposed to what I necessarily put on the board. In my book, I have a whole section on different cheeses you might like, meats, nuts, even sweet things to put on a board, different jams and honeys. So feel free to look at the book, but in the meantime, grab your board, your friends, your bottle of wine, and go out and have a great time with your friends. Mm -hmm.